As a content creator, you're already facing a lot of risks. From putting your face out there for the world to see, to potentially getting clipped into the next viral meme, to even being targeted by hackers, you might be one upload away from your life changing forever. But one risk that's become even more real in the last couple of months is the risk of losing your entire platform. Is TikTok really about to be banned in the US? The Biden administration wants TikTok's Chinese owners to sell their stakes in the app or risk facing a ban on the social platform in the US. The potential banning of TikTok has shown that content creators who are heavily reliant on that platform need to be prepared to find alternatives or face serious disruption to their business or potential livelihood. Welcome to the first episode of Resilience, a new series in chaos theory where I go over topics and share stories about people who have shown and built resilience in the chaotic times that we live in. I'm Alex, your resident chaos coordinator. If you want to see more episodes like this and have ideas about what you'd like to see covered next, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon, and leave a comment below. Now, let's begin. Without getting too much into the geopolitics and inflammatory rhetoric, TikTok is at real risk of being banned in the United States. Unless something happens to change Congress's mind or some sort of financial deal takes place, like a forced sale, the 150 million users of the popular vertical video app might need to take their viewing time elsewhere. What does this mean for content creators? The threat of a potential ban has forced some people to look beyond TikTok. Some of the most popular include Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, and Snapchat Spotlight. These platforms offer similar features to TikTok and can be a good place to start if you haven't started already. But even the most popular platforms can fall out of favor overnight. So it's important for content creators to remember that no platform is guaranteed to be successful. Look at what happened to the once popular video platform Vine that got acquired by Twitter but soon got shut down. That is why it's important to build your audience and community first and focus on creating great content. If you do that, you will be able to weather any storm that comes your way. So what are some practical things you can do? Well, one, start by building your audience on multiple platforms. This will help you reach a wider audience and reduce your reliance on any one platform. Think of it as giving people multiple touch points for them to be able to discover and connect with you and your content. Two, create high quality content that is relevant to your audience. Content is king, and if you don't have something that people will care about, they'll soon go elsewhere. Engage with your audience on a regular basis. There are wonderful networks effects that happen when you engage with people with your content. This will help you build a strong relationship with your followers and make them more likely to stick around. Four, be patient. It takes time to build a following on multiple platforms. Don't expect to see results overnight. Don't rely on any one platform to be your saving grace. If you focus on creating great content, it won't matter what exact platform you post it on. Build your audience and community first, and they'll follow you wherever you go. Thanks for checking out this first episode of Resilience. If you have ideas about what you'd like to see covered next, leave a comment below. Until next time, to embracing the chaos together.